Okay, so we'll proceed. Okay, so for clarity, uh, we can see it is kind of more neatly. Now, if this is the light source and this is the model, since light is seeing only the model, <coughs> not this uh, ball, so only the cone, because this is what we are using in GLU, uh, uh, GLU look at. And then uh, this is kind of, uh, if we use the clamping or if we use GL repeat uh, while creating the texture. So this would come like this. And if we take the photograph through the light, black and white, so this would come in the photograph. Okay, so this is clear means uh, this is kind of uh, the uh, from the z axis uh, when we draw so this is how so this clamping is unwanted and if i use uh, uh, repetition then this is again unwanted so this is the actual picture otherwise these are undesirable okay so here this is actual picture and this clamping to the edge is undesirable. Okay, so we will see the texture object and its attribute texture object and texture unit. So what are these? Okay, so when we have kind of uh, image Okay, so when we have, uh, when we have image, so uh, image generally, uh, it's just a kind of uh, a byte data. So we create a texture object and inside that we copy the image. So image comes inside the texture object. So these slides are taken from the uh, texture tutorial as it is. So the now texture object contains the image data. So uh, the API that is used is GL text image 2D. Okay, now uh, when it comes inside the texture data, uh, it is something like this. So texture object, so texture object contains the image data and then texture object provides various uh, uh, functions and those functions uh, comes from various interfaces. I mean, this is a kind of uh, hypothetical design that uh, is proposed. Like one interface is where mag and min filter is applied. One interface where GL texture wrap S and wrap T and then a texture environment and then MIP mapping. So these uh, interfaces are implemented by texture object and it provides the function like texture filtering, MIP mapping, texture wrapping, texture function, spectral light. Okay, up to this only. Now, so when we kind of create the texture object, we kind of call a function called GL text image text parameter, and inside that we provide the property for wrap s, wrap s, wrap t. So, like if, okay, like this is kind of a screen, and it has set of pixels, and uh, this is the image. So image is small whereas the screen is big so uh, i can uh, we can provide like the property in the texture object as wrap as so when the image is small and we provide kind of uh, 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 something like uh, when we map the like something like this like gl text coordinate okay gl vertex so whenever we have a, a kind of any primitive and then uh, inside the primitive we have vertices so against the vertices uh, we provide like if this is the vertices this is the vertices again each vertices what is the textile coordinate so if textile coordinate must be between 0 and 1 if it is below 0 or above 1 then what would be the nature of wrapping s so like here the screen is big and image is small then if I provide so the texture coordinate should be between 0 0 and top right between 1 and 1 if it crosses 1 on this side 
and it is below 0 on this side, then in the x side, what would be behavior? And then in the y side, what would be the behavior? Okay, so I have to provide through GL text parameter. So wrap as if I provide GL repeat, then the image which get mapped onto the uh, screen, so that would get repeated or mirror repeated or clamp to edge clamping or I will say uh, it should be a border. Whatever border color we specify, it will become a border. So that is up to us. Now, what is uh, this is the texture object. So when we create a texture object, we first read the image data inside the texture object and image data. Then we set various property like texture wrapping, texture function, specular lighting, MIP mapping, texture filtering. Okay, so we are talking only about texture wrapping now. So in the texture wrapping, if image, if we provide the text cell uh, coordinate less than zero or more than one, in that case, how in the S direction, how in the X direction, how it would wrap, it would kind of, it would mirror, repeat or it would repeat, it would clamp or it would have a border. So here we are seeing a kind of uh, a clamping. So here uh, it is clamping. Okay, and whereas here it is repeating. So this is what we have set. So we have set if wrap s is set to gl repeat, it would repeat the way it is repeating. The way it is repeating, we can say clearly it is repeating. Or if it is clamping, then it would clamp. The way it is clamping, this is what we don't want. So, okay, now if we see the kind of shader code, Code, then we don't worry about the texture object. Texture object, we uh, set this property in the Python code itself, uh, whereas shader code is C code, and there we talk about texture unit or sampler. Sampler, okay. So sampler is a guy which takes texture coordinate as input, and then it goes to texture object and looking at the condition of the texture object for that text coordinate, it would try to fetch the actual color. Of the of the at the at a particular texture coordinate. Okay, so like if I want to have a pixel color at these areas, then it will have a texture coordinate more than zero. So because it is repeating, then it will go and it will say that my texture coordinate is three, x is three and y is two. Then texture object uh, would see its texture wrapping function and it would say repeating. If it is repeating, then it will decrement, it will bring it back normalized to 0, 1 and it will try to fetch the color of the particular text cell. So that would like that. So at the end, we will see kind of repetition. If it is repeating, if it is not repeating, then it would be like clamp to it. Okay, so this is the scenario. So texture unit is a guy which takes the texture coordinate in the shader programming and then go and it refers to the texture object and whatever the grammar we have placed in the texture object for the wrap s and wrap t it is repeat or it is clamp or it is border according to that it would estimate the color of the texture at that particular texture coordinate and it returns the color based upon the color we see something like repeated okay so that is the scenario and then we see something repeated. But if we see the actual texture, okay, we see the actual texture image that is taken from the uh, lighting source, the photograph what we have taken, it is up to this much only. So our image that so when we talk about this diagram, okay, so from light source, one image is taken, okay, and that image and from the camera, okay, from the camera, another view is there. So for, from the camera, full things are, full thing is visible. Okay, so from camera, everything is visible. But from the light, so from the camera, 
फुल स्टफ इज विजिबल ओके फ्रॉम कैमरा एवरीथिंग इज फ्रॉम लेफ्ट टू राइट एवरीथिंग इज विजिबल बट फ्रॉम द लाइट सोर्स ओनली दिस मच इज विजिबल सो वी हैव काइंड ऑफ हाइलाइटेड इन ग्रीन रेक्टेंगल ओनली दिस मच इज विजिबल नाउ if we try to find out the mathematics of other area then it forcefully goes and it repeats because this is what a texture object we have made like that okay so it is something like this so this is the model and this is another model and this is the light source white so white sees the model it is not able to see this sphere because directly it is seeing the model and then that is a cone so this much it is coming in the photograph okay otherwise other area is not coming and they are repeating as per the texture object grammar what we have said okay so what is the solution now question arising what is the solution okay so we'll add a section here so what is the resolution if that is the case okay so what is the resolution now how we can avoid this kind of unwanted thing what we are getting okay now if we see closely then what we do is when i have when we are drawing the kind of from camera perspective from camera perspective when we are drawing the objects then every object we are drawing and we are referring so there are two passes as we have talked one pass in making the texture and another in uh, in final pass again there are uh, from the light source we are assessing the x and y so kind of uh, indexes in the texture and then whatever the uh, depth we are seeing through that we are comparing the depth value and then uh, whatever we see in the camera so that we are kind of uh, uh, we are trying to uh, fix the actual value okay so like if i am drawing this uh, cone okay so cone is getting drawn neatly because these parameters are these are near to the camera but if i drawing trying to draw this a uh, plane yellow plane then this region are coming under shadow okay because this uh, the depth of this region is is this region is coming so if we see the photograph okay so if we see the photograph then uh, whatever we are seeing here uh, this is actually cone so this this is the yellow this is yellow yellow uh, plane so this is yellow plane this is black and white so this is yellow plane on top of the top of the yellow plane we are seeing the cone okay so on the yellow plane the reason that is coming behind this cone they will be drawn as shadow this is not shadow this is actual blue cone this is blue whatever we are seeing this is blue and whatever seeing behind the scene this is yellow okay so whatever seeing in the actual camera reel so this is cone and what this is the cone that is blue and this is yellow that is the this plane so but when we are drawing from the camera perspective that is staying at 0 0 then this region would be drawn as a sphere as a shadow because it is coming behind the scene of this sphere so this calculation behind the scene not the behind the scene we will restrict only when the in the final pass so in the final pass 
when we are doing the light again we are doing from the light so at the first pulse we are capturing the texture coordinate uh, we are actually uh, getting the texture the image in the final pulse again from the light source we are calculating the depth so this calculation we will do only only when only when, this is not available anywhere on the internet okay it can be searched so this calculation we will do only when in the final pass from the light perspective when we have s and t that is inside the texture inside the the image what we have generated so if it is inside the image then we will do is inside the image then we will do the calculation but if it is outside the image okay then we will not do the calculation okay so now we will proceed for the source code and then we will see that whatever we are talking inside the image outside the image how it works so that we will see so we will we can start